Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 191. It is one more part of the path of enchantment as we move further along toward the end game of that story arc. As always, this episode is brought to you by our patrons at patreon.com slash adventure inc. Patrons like Andrew, Graydon, Kayla, Micah, Vespa. Without these patrons who come and support the show, we could not do the cool things uh, that we get to do with this show uh, that are make it so special and, and allow us to grow it and make it bigger and better. But there are other ways you can help as well. Uh, as always, if you are enjoying the show, you, you like what you're listening to, share it with your friends. You never know who's going to like it. Uh, that's that's your job. you know. Or you can drop us a review on iTunes. That's helpful too. We haven't gotten many of those in a while. That's okay. I, I don't think they're like super important, but uh, you know, they don't take a lot of time. Pretty easy to do if you want to do that. And you can, of course, follow us on Facebook and social media, uh, Twitter. I think we have an Instagram. I don't think we really use it. I mean, it's there. Um, and then, of course, joining us in the Discord where the community hangs out and chats. You can get up to the up to the minute news. You can hear about uh, what's going on in our lives. You can hang out with a whole really cool group of people who've uh, come to, to coalesce there. So uh, it's totally worth it uh, to come and join us. All right, let's get started. Nobles and farmers, knights and wenches, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Keth, the fighter monk. Like usually when you bring people back from the dead in books, it turns out really bad. That's just to sell more books. (laughs) (laughs) Jibedo, the rogue. God, it's so good Uh, to see something positive happen. Um... (laughs) God, I'm so glad to be back home. You know, let's make sure we get Clug fixed up, then we'll have two under our belts. This Guys. is awesome. Genevera, the sorcerer. Genevera, you I, are a powerful I, sorcerer capable of uh, very strong magics. Oh, this is the first time someone acknowledges how good I am at magic. And it's <laughs> me of a fucking crime? What the shit? <laughs> Gillick, the paladin warlock. Can we find you, like, something else to tap into instead? Yeah. What, give up four levels of warlock? Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> and Asher, the druid barbarian. Uh, Asher, like, puts his hand on Jibeto's shoulder. This is the most affectionate you've ever seen, Asher. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourselves, for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated. Let's get started. So, you guys, uh... After the Kraken attack. Kraken attacking. After the attack and Kraken. Uh, had Kraken attacking. Uh, you guys have been traveling for a couple of days uh, yep. toward the nearest landmass that Horton can find. Uh, he says he's not really. Yeah, the f- same landmass that you wanted to, s- to have to go to. Really we had, had it to go it's, to. It's the super not. Attacked us. Uh, right. he's, and now uh, you have to go because fuck you, the Kraken came. That's not, it's not accurate. So actually, what uh, what you missed out on was the, the Aarakocra homeland, but uh, we're not going there. So fuck you. I, I feel like that's not even true. <laughs> so. Yeah, I feel like he just made that yeah, up as like right. a different thing just to say that. Uh, you were gonna go to the... You guys, you're in the fucking ocean. There are islands. That's all that's out there. Yeah, I, I feel like... <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah, you were gonna yeah, go to the yeah. island of pure gold, but, like, you didn't want to go there, so never mind. <laughs> that's not what I said. Right. Yeah, you were gonna go to heaven. Yeah. The island. It's an island. Uh, where right. I was probably gonna kill that's off... where heaven got his name. <laughs> we were gonna go to an island where I was probably gonna kill off Rob's character, but now you don't Again? get to go there, so... <laughs> Chaotic noon evil. Chaotic news. <laughs> Oh, you missed it. You just missed it. Bummer. That sucks. <laughs> Coming up at 726, we have the Chaotic <laughs> News Network. For 10 hours. Oops, schedule change. Chaotic We're over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... This is breaking news. So, Never mind. 
Uh, Horton does not know much about the island he's taking you to because you guys are so close now to the uh, the ley line. Lamp. <laughs> the lamp line? The lamp line. <laughs> Someone put a lamp Attack on my you. desk. It wasn't me. I, I feel like now it's in my sabotage. personal space. It's definitely wife sabotage. I mean, yes, She's it's like, 100% I know he wife talks sabotage. With his hands. I'm going to put a light fixture in the way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like hitting <laughs> this lamp. That's a, that's a great prank. And then she can come in and yell at you when you break the light bulb. Yeah. It's perfect. It's always going to be your or fault. Maybe she really. broke the lamp already, but assumed if she <gasps> sabotaged it. <them. laughs> <laughs> the <Yeah>. perfect crime. <laughs> God, that is some next level thinking. That's probably yeah, true. That's twelve twelve dimensional <laughs> chess. Yeah, I put it on the floor now. Jokes on her. Um, so I can flail <laughs> wild. It doesn't matter. It's on the floor. You broke it. You moved it. You touched yeah. it last. Right. To, <laughs> You're probably right. All right. So in three hours, do you think you'll have run it over with the chair? Yeah. <laughs> it's not the safest place around you. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, did you run it over with your chair? <laughs> did, you just, did you just run it over with your chair? So you guys are traveling. <laughs> We're going to get this podcast recorded. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know much about the island because of how close you guys are to the ley line. Uh, you're farther, far enough northeast that these are more or less uncharted territory for uh, most of Numerita. Uh, but he... He sees a port on the uh, on the island, so he's going to take you guys uh, to that one to resupply, uh, since all of the food is gone. Any port in a storm, all that. Oh, wait, the food's gone. Yeah, all the food. <laughs> the food was down in the uh, wait, in the wait, hold wait, of wait. the ship. <laughs> okay. And when the the hole got uh, broken open by the kraken and it filled with water, it ruined most of the food. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Brought all dehydrated food and. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it's very hydrated. <laughs> no, <laughs> we had to eat it in like two days. I, uh, whenever I think of dehydrated food, I think of astronaut ice cream. Yeah, so that's like, fair. Is that like now sailor ice cream? Is it's just, just regular ice cream. ice cream. I mean, it probably is. They probably don't have dehydrated ice cream. No. <laughs> Why not? It's a magical. Also, salt water, I don't think, is the right way to rehydrate <laughs> your food that you've dehydrated. Not wrong. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. Rob would know. He's a food scientist. What's up? Yeah, but right. he failed Yo. a lot of tests. <laughs> uh, I, failed, I failed the two things that have the least to do with food. One, off notes, which is, in, is basically things that don't smell like food. Yeah, exactly. You should probably know that one. Back. Yeah, that's fair. Like, <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> Uh, is this food? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Is this rubber? Is this cheese? Who knows? We'll never know. <laughs> Failed that test. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm eating rubber now. I, Oops. I've been putting rubber on my nachos for years. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I've ruined <laughs> several <rubber>. microwaves. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So, Kay. is there anything you guys want to do on the ship? Uh, in the time before you arrive at the island. Besides starve? <laughs> Be hungry. There's some food left, but not much. Enough for you to not starve, but that's about it. Be, but be uncomfortable. Oh, jennifer has got plenty of food because she's been stocking up in her room because <laughs> nobody wanted her outside of so it. She, so you just have like... Uh, She'll let Gillick know. You have the drawer of oh. snacks. I have a couple snacks. If you let Gillick know, <laughs> it's it's gone. It's okay. too late. <laughs> Cat. Kat's trying to, you know, teach people to it's mind over matter and just, you know, different meditation techniques. It's going around to everybody and just uh, giving un unsolicited advice on that. For, for the first few days, Asher was just <laughs> drooling uncontrollably because he was so hungry. And then after a few days, he ran out of saliva. So he's just still looking like he would be drooling, but he's, he's not anymore. So he just looks really fucking weird and everyone's upset. Yeah, mostly yep. me. <laughs> yeah, that's super gross. <laughs> I need something other than porridge. We're working on it, uh, my boy. You are we're, we're we're close to the port. Uh, he looks up at the uh, the crow's nest and he says, uh, "How far are we now? A few hours left." And the, from the crow's nest, you just hear back. Yep. <laughs> I love Yep Guy. <laughs> yep Guy's my favorite. Yep Guy's so good. <clears throat> um, uh, in the meantime, uh, uh, 
try and find something to occupy your mind, Asher. Try to uh, to find a, a task to do or something. Okay, I will, I will. Uh, he immediately wild chips into a dog and starts chasing his tail. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> he, he gets bored and is now drooling as a dog, but only kind of drooling. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, actually, uh, the many pennies uh, of any of you who wish to uh, uh, make a plan for what we will do when we arrive on shore, I would be uh, happy to speak with you and Jacques in the uh, in the captain's quarters. And he uh, Horton goes back into his uh, his area. I- I'm sorry. Does that include me? Are we we're we're cool with witches now? <laughs> uh, Jacques, who is on board, he's like. Uh, perhaps we should not uh, say the witches thing out loud, but I think most people are okay with you, yes. Yeah, it is kind of weird that all the guys who are casting magic, everyone's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. It, yeah, is, no, yeah. it is not that... Uh, <laughs> they were not uh, too comfortable with that either, no. Uh, it's just that only one of them was uh, openly casting magic before the Kraken fight, and now it's very awkward. <laughs> That sounds like their problem. Sorry, just can't hide who I am. No, that's fine. Uh, You had a a rough time of it. I have been trying to help you uh, through that. I understand where you are coming from, no? Uh, But uh, for the other sailors, now all five of you are, um, I would say, revered and feared. Yes? That's fine. Revered. As long as the revered part is also there and not just... Oh, yes, I, I, I think that people are very grateful for what you have done, but they are uh, still terrified of you, no? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. <coughs> let's go make a plan. Yeah, let's do planning. Okay. Let's plan. Uh, so you guys head in and you see Horton uh, looking over uh, some very crude maps. Um, <laughs> he's like, it's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing I was thinking. <laughs> Crudely drawn <laughs> maps. Got it, got it. Okay. Welcome to right. the continent of boobs. <laughs> yeah, are. you guys were gonna go to Boob Island. <laughs> oh, <I> guess not. <laughs> oh, we could have gone to Naked Lady Booby Land. <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> He he is looking over these maps and he says, I I don't know which of these is accurate. Um, I bought a couple of these off of traders who said they've come out this far, but uh, they contradict each other, and I don't know for sure what we're walking into. Well, Yikes. okay. why don't we... I don't know. I feel like we, we get along with a lot of people, and we've been a lot of places, so we'll just, we'll just approach it without, you know... We're, our weapons out and everything, and we'll just we'll just meet the locals, and you know, I'm sure they'll be friendly. I am yeah, well, I'm, I'm... I am concerned about pushing this whole crew into the dock. Uh, if there is danger, um, or if these people are not, are you well like, friendly? Who's talking? Horton. That's how he sounds like. Horton's Horton got a and, weird Horton accent. Horton and Jacques' baby. Right. Yeah. Horton. Well, maybe. <laughs> wow, they're they're both talking at the same time. Uh, whoa. Oh, okay. okay. Can sense. you guys stop <laughs> talking me. at the same time? <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, that was a uh, very strange. You know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Uh, it definitely sounded like someone we'd never met before. Well, uh, now, uh, I- yeah. Jacques, you, you sit down, okay? You, you've had enough. Because I, I was wondering earlier meeting. when I was talking at someone sort of like deliriously, like who I was talking to, turns you're out just it was having both de- of you guys. No, no, you're just having delusions. Shit. You're, uh, yeah, you need, to, you need to drink some I water do. or something. Okay, well, it's all salty, so I don't know what to tell you. Well, stop drinking I that water. <laughs> well, it's so good. It's so delicious. Uh, uh, it really quenches uh, your thirst. Oh, no. Asher, like, <laughs> gags a little, and then... <laughs> what? Um, so, I, I'm worried about taking the crew in if uh, if things are going to get dicey. Uh, so, I, I was thinking about sending you folks in as a advanced scouting party. But taking Jacques with you. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. 
my immediate reaction was to be offended, uh, and then I remembered the state of your crew. Uh, and so, like, that probably makes sense. Um, I, it just seems like uh, you guys might have the most diplomatic approach. Uh, well, I don't know if that's true. And if not... <laughs> Gil, Gil just laughs. laughs. Yeah, I mean, and if not, uh, we're definitely the strongest. Yeah, that's so. fair. You, uh, you have definitely proven that... Uh, we would be in a lot of trouble if it weren't for you. And so uh, I'm hoping you can bail us out on this one more time. Refered. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's see yeah, how it sure. goes. Let us know uh, what we need for, like, for the ship, and we'll, we'll make sure that we you know, acquire that what, stuff. What do you th- My thought is that you, can, you guys can go ahead and make a uh, connection – uh, set set everything up, and then if it's all good, you can send a message back, and we'll bring the boat into port. What are the Very maps? Good. The maps you have they contradict each other, but not entirely. I'm sure they probably have something in common. What do they have that's in common? <laughs> Is like the name of the island, or just like any amount of detail that we can get? Like how much they hate witches? How much, on like, a scale what is their status on lot? witches? Into magic. So the only thing I have for certain is that there are three islands. Uh, they don't all... These maps are all really terrible. Uh, so the the layout of the islands aren't a thing that I really have any information on. Okay. And even the position of the islands don't seem accurate, especially not compared to where we are right now. Mm. But the names, the any sort of extra detail... I mean, it's a map, so it's not uh, going to tell you who's on it, but... No, no. Uh, all it says is that there are some uh, religious traitors here. They don't have names Wait. for the things out here. Uh, and Gebetto looks at the map, and is it traitors, T-R-A-I-T-O-R-S? No, it is T-R-A-D-E-R-S. <laughs> Asher looks Great. at the map okay. and tries to intuit... Sound it out, Asher. Traitor. Traitor. So that word means traitors. That word means traitors? And that's the only that word, word that means traitors. spells traitors. There's only one word that means traitors. Because there's the another traitors of... that I know of. The meaning of traitors. So sometimes, here, this is a good lesson. Um, they're called homophones. It's Excuse a word me. that sounds the same, <laughs> but they're spelled differently. We don't talk like that. And the definition is... You can't, you can't say that anymore. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> oh, God, you guys... <laughs> The definition is different. Uh, so traders, as it's spelled on this page, is T-R-A-D-E-R-S. It means people who trade okay. things. Traders, the homophone, oh, someone is who T-R-A-I-T-O. Trades. Wait, that doesn't... No, someone who has um, uh, gone against their... I, I mean, I know what the word is. I just didn't... I was confused. Okay. <sighs> right, a turncoat. I'm just... Yes, exactly. Kef's already on his cell phone, not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Self stone. Wait, so what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> oh my god! That's what I ask myself every yeah. day. Where did that come from? <laughs> um. Okay. Well. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I guess we should go out there first. All we know is religious traders with a D. I know the first five letters. A, B, C, D, E. G? Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, he says, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll be here and we'll prepare ourselves uh, in case things go bad uh, that we can get you out of there at least. Okay. But I think, I mean, we'll just be, you know, we'll, we'll keep the ship ready to roll. Well, not roll, but <laughs> I, do a I, sail. No, we, I, got, we got ready it. To ready row. to row. Ready to row. Yeah, ready to row. I understand. I learned the word metaphor oh, the yes. other day, and, you know, it explains a lot of miscommunications in my life, so. Great. I'm excited about Thanks. that. Uh, for you, I guess. You don't have to be. I just was talking. I was just making conversation. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> is there anything you need from me? For this, aside from a boat, a boat I can do. Anything to okay. trade? Like, tra- actually, if they're traders, yeah, they might. Religion. They might have a, a cost to their allowing us yeah. to uh, port there, P- dock, dock there. We don't want to give up anything super valuable, but any sort of like a kraken head seed that we can 
like plant in their uh, brain. See, metaphor. Um, uh, so uh, I can't help you with religion. Uh, that's on you. That's fair. Uh, I don't have any of that to give you. Uh, the Kraken head might not be a terrible idea, and I can give you some coin if you think it'll help. Um, one, one million gold, please. He laughs. I just feel like we just want to make sure we get supplies. Um, I think the only thing that we might truly need is some way to send a signal that we're in trouble. Mm. Like something to say, like, hey, these religious traitors are religious traitors. Like a cell stone, which is what I said earlier. Uh, like a flare, like a big... <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, Something like that, because I feel like that's the only real... Some way to communicate with you, and if it's literally just like yeah. a big old poof in the sky. What if, I, uh, what if I gave you two flags, and you could light them on fire and wave them around? Why would we light them on fire? And also, what if we're in the middle of the island? Yeah, if you can see a flag from this island, uh, you'll probably know if we're in trouble. Okay, okay, all right. Look, I'm just spitballing um, here. If you've got other ideas, I'm happy to hear them. I guess we'll just shoot. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, you know, we can uh, we can light something on fire and send a mage hand up into the sky, or I can telekinesis it up. Couldn't Don't you, like, shoot fireballs? Yeah, but that's, like, that's a waste of a yeah, fireball. Yeah, but that takes a lot of yeah. energy, Horton. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not. I, mean, a, I don't do magic. I don't know what the limitations to your magic are. I don't know. Uh, you know. It just feels real wasteful to shoot yeah, a no, fireball really in the sky for. Just, I guess I could. Um, we'll figure it out. You know yeah, what? You'll just be on the lookout know. for an obvious. Look for signal. a big explosion or like a beam <clears throat> of light from the moon that doesn't seem normal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Because that's my one yeah, thing. Yeah, basically, that's my one thing. Look out for shit. Yeah, if things are know? exploding yeah. above the island, we're in trouble. Yeah, I shoot purpley energy. So if you see one of that, Gillick specifically yeah. is in trouble, and the rest of us are fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that goes for everybody else in the room too. Uh, if anybody sees Gillick's uh, eldritch blasts, something bad's yeah, yeah, happening. Yeah. For me, I guess either lightning or moon beams. Yeah. Beams of light from the moon, specifically. You'll be like, wow, that's weird. I'll take cold, a chromatic orb, and so you'll know if I'm in trouble. <laughs> I always forget you, you can cast spells. If you spells. see some cold. Yeah. Yeah, if you see a cold, <laughs> if you see a cold, if this was like a person but sneezing. It's a 12-inch. Of the island. 12-inch uh, diameter cold, so be on the look. All right. Look Gr- well. Great. All right. Um... <laughs> This was super productive, and I am really glad we had all this talk. Chuck's like, um, I can uh, play my instrument, no? So if you hear melodies right. coming from the island, then uh, you know I am in trouble, Jacques, I guess. That's a good you're one. You're not the only Great. person who plays an Let's instrument. Go. What if there's other people on the island who play music? It's going to be very confusing. We'll just take that bet. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying... It, what is that you are strumming? What do you have never seen such magic? <laughs> tones! What are these tones? Why? What is delighting my ears right now? <clears throat> Jack becomes king. <laughs> <laughs> Sound wizard! <laughs> uh, well, we're probably close enough now that uh, you guys can... Uh, can okay, bye. Row in, so bye. Bye, bye, bye Gen- Genevera. Okay. Genevera uh, jumps bye. in the boat. Jennifer's like, get me the fuck off this <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the six of you load up uh, into the the smaller boat. Uh, it doesn't have sails. It's a road boat. Um, road and you boat. make for... A road boat? R-O-A-D. Yes. Road boat. R-O-W-E-D. It has four wheels. A rowboat. Right. Sweet. Sure. But R-O-D-E. It, it is powered Gepetto by rowing. Is sitting on <laughs> it. Just rode. This boat has well, it's been currently rowed. being. No, because it's in the past. Right. Once you get off it, it'll be a road boat. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Gillick and Gibetto are on one side, and the rest of you are on the other side. Gillick and Gip- Gillick's in full. Gillick's probably in full armor if they're worried about getting into a fight. And I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go. Like, <laughs> we have to be on the other side, or else we'll tip over. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, that feels fine. Um, (laughs) 
Do, do we think Gillick is the equivalent of four? Because Gillick's still like a dwarf, yeah. so he's still no. short. Is he the equivalent of four full size adults? Three full size adults. No, that's what I was saying. Have Gillick Gibetto plus Gibetto. Also, why did, Gillick, right. Gillick, right, right. Gillick, like, why don't you just sit in the middle of the boat? Huh. Well, then he can't right. row. But there's four. Can't row right. from. The, you can row from the middle oh, of wait, the boat. But also, the jock's <laughs> like, there. I forgot about jock. Not a. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, right. Not this boat. Not a boat like not this. Like this is. This not is like this one boat. of these. This boat has boat. no. Rows. You have to sit on one side or no the other. You cannot in sit in the middle. It's it's it is no. You can't sit in the middle. It's bigger than that. It's like uh, I mean, you know one of the ones where you, you have can. a team of people like rowing each, along each the edge. Each person only has one side of a row. Has one correct? Wow. Each, each only has it's like a an oar on one ship. oar. Yeah, yeah. Oof. It's a big boat. I feel like they're, they're going to be intimidated by such a ship. That's cool. I hope it has a dragon on the front. Yeah, it doesn't. So, uh, I will. <laughs> and a bunch you know of what, Viking. Anthony? It on sounds brand. safe. It sounds like a on safe. brand. It Anthony. is safe. safe it is. It, you're, you're sure, Gillick. You are certain it's seaworthy. You did the last round of applying pitch uh, to ensure Great. that it was seaworthy. Great. You are certain it's seaworthy. What does applying pitch mean? <laughs> Perception check. Ah, oh, you, like, you are certain it's seaworthy. Right. But are you the sound wizard? <laughs> I'm not the sound like, wizard. Jacques is the sound wizard. Yeah. Uh, so the the six of you get into the boat and you make your way toward uh, the island. Yay! Yay. Um, so as you approach, you see uh, a bulky looking figure waving you in, um, and there's a spot open on the dock that they like. They move some some of the other boats around. It looks like there's these uh, floating uh, buildings almost that they have tied up in the dock. Um, that they move out of the way uh, as you guys approach. Huh. Um, give me perception checks. All right. Ooh, 20 oh, plus something. <laughs> well, something. Every, every time I see something, nobody believes me, so 28, but we'll see if that even matters. 28. Last time I was like, Jacques the cat. People were like, shut up, Asher. And then they were like, oh, wow, Jacques the cat. <clears throat> oh, that was a funny bit. Yeah, <laughs> what I did genuinely what, uh, like that 12? bit. That bit okay. was very funny. What, what was yours, Josh? Uh, fifteen minus. Uh, Keth, fifteen. Twenty-eight okay. for me. I just rolled a two for Mike. I'm not sure if he's going to want to keep that roll. <laughs> I suspect probably not. Once he finds his dice, I don't know why he didn't just borrow your die for a moment. But okay, it's not. Because he took all dice. my. He took all but one of my d I don't like that in this the video <laughs> chat. You get one. Uh, <laughs> Mike is on the left and Steph Sorry. is on the right, but in my video chat, it's reversed. So I see Mike walk into the just, left of the frame and then appear on the right. It's just very drag him onto the other side. I can. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep Steph's two for me. <laughs> Twenty-eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is a eleven. Goddamn. Great. My passive is a 19. <clears throat> okay. If I would have seen it beforehand. Uh, so Before uh, trying to look for it. <laughs> Gibetto and Asher, the two of you, oh, wow. uh, notice, because I, I am going to use your passive on this, uh, Gibetto. Um, the two of you notice that the, uh, the figure standing at the end of the dock uh, appears to be like a large turtle person. Yes. Sorry, I dropped my, I dropped something. <laughs> Cool. In, 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 in Ash, surprise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, pick that up and I'm look. What, is that a large turtle? That's oh, it's a turtle. It, I've never I've seen never, a I've only heard of life. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Guys. I bet they live like a hundred years. Don't freak out. I bet they live a hundred years. <laughs> don't freak out, but I've heard that turtles live the longest lives of any. Like no one knows no how one, long a no turtle lives. I guess they know. I've never I met guess one. they know. Have y'all ever met a turtle? Jacques, have you? I have met a, a few of uh, the traveling kind, but I have never been to their homeland, no. Wow. Tor turtle home this is homeland. Is Turtle Island? Turtle Island. Uh, yes, uh, that is what this appears to be, no? Yes. Stop saying You say you, you see a turtle? You end every sentence I with just no. see one. Like, it, it, it feels presumptive to assume the whole island is turtles. That's also fair. Well, I. Fair, yes, I, uh, that may be as well. Perhaps he is just a wandering turtle who works the docks, no? Well, the, he wouldn't be a wandering turtle if he worked the docks. He would be a, a sedentary dortle. A working yeah, a working turtle. turtle. Yeah. <laughs> I think he means like he wandered from his homeland to work on the docks. He's still uh, not, he's not currently a wandered turtle. 
A I learned about tenses the other day. <laughs> Before that, I would just pick one at random. <laughs> you know what? That's a really funny Not wrong. <laughs> the next Patreon episode. <laughs> Jesus, that would be so well, hard. <laughs> you know, no, let's uh, retcon it. We're retconning this. <laughs> yeah, Asher let's go was very hard to talk to for new reasons. <laughs> Uh, so you guys pull up to the uh, uh, the dock, uh, and the the turtle, uh, he's waving you in. He says, "Welcome." They talk slow. I like it. That's, That's so awesome. cool. Uh, hello. I bet they don't <laughs> hear slow, Gillick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe maybe it's customary. Jeepers. Maybe it's like it's like a, like a dialect. That's not how dialect. It's not. <laughs> Asher just kind of shrugs at Gillick, like, D- <laughs> oh, Gillick takes a big sip from his glass. <laughs> wait, Gillick. Oh wait, no, we're out. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Gillick, so, have, Gillick does, does it anyway. Mechanism. Yeah, he does it anyway, and that's so yeah, sad. Just, <laughs> movement helps. Welcome to River. Ri- River? Can you can you spell that for me? It's like Boston. R I V E R. R. Oh boy. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. I. Asher, practice I'm your trying. letter sounds. I'm trying. I'm trying. R I R V E. A. Yes. H H H. Yes. Yes. Wait. Yes. Would that be River? You're right. Doesn't doesn't H make a H sound? River. River. No, it can be it can be silent. Fall River. Fall River. Fall River. Fall River. Fall River. Yeah, hold down. Asher, stop stop making that. Your I'm breath sorry. smells terrible. I'm sorry. I'm... Anyway. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to you, our Thank guests. You. Thanks so much. Um. Hey, uh, so we were actually just uh, looking to trade for some supplies and kind of uh, meet the meet the folks that we need to, so that we can uh, be on our way. I can take you to the elder. Is does the elder? Oh, perfect. Have yeah, if they're if that's who is in charge of trading in this town, then great. Mm. He turns and slowly what? starts to make his way. Away from what's you. your what's your name? Mm, he turns back. What's your name? Oh my that's true. I've been very rude. I'm sorry. I'm Felon. And well, you are Nice to meet you, Felon. I'm Genevera. And these are my friends, Asher, Jabeto, Keth, and Gillick. Hello. Hey there. Nice. At your service. To meet you, Genevera, Asher, Keth, Gillick, and Jabeto. That was a good, good memory. Jibeto bows, uh, and he goes, oh, and also, this is Jacques. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Jacques <laughs> does a big flourishing bow. And I keep forgetting Jacques is there. Thelen nods to him and says, hello, Jacques, <laughs> Genevera, <laughs> Asher. <laughs> Gebetto, do you think do you think all turtles are like this, or do you think this specific turtle is like this? We're gonna meet more turtles. We're gonna meet more turtles. I can't wait to meet them. If they're all like this, he he turns away from you guys. He says, "Follow me." Gladly. And Gibetto jumps off the boat and like walks at a normal pace, uh, (laughs) quickly overtaking him. Uh, As you start to walk like up next to him, you see him kind of trying to keep pace with you. He's limping a little bit. But he's he's like trying to, to oh, keep up with you. So cute. Um, <laughs> Asher's like intently behind him because he doesn't want to be rude, but he hates slow walkers. <laughs> Honestly, slow, slow walkers, walkers uh, get out. For Mike the player, yeah, the worst. No. Uh, Gibetto yeah. loves it. 
because he's got them yeah. little legs. Asher and Rob both hate slow walkers. <laughs> you guys get into uh, the heart of this little village. It looks like a similar to like a fishing village where uh, back on the mainland. Uh, what you're noticing is that all of the buildings are, <laughs> are made with these. They're <laughs> just buildings with turtle shells on them. Just normal houses no. with the turtle shells on the back. Our ancestors are kept alive by making houses out of them. Uh, they are uh, made with like sand bricks. So they've they've crafted these uh, like hard bricks Adobe. out of sand and seashells uh, to make their their homes. Um, but you also notice that a lot of the other turtles are walking much faster than Thelen is. Dude, I told you. Thalon is just... Thalon might just be old. You didn't tell me anything. You asked me. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I meant. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but like, oh my god, hurry up. Right? He he okay. sees uh, someone, he waves a hand. He says, hello, Nagrix. And uh, the, the turtle walking by turns to look at him and just is, is still walking. He's like, hello, felon. He introduces himself to every person he sees. <laughs> and they just, but they're they're walking a normal pace, but they're still talking slow. That seems to be okay. consistent. Cool. How interesting. Huh. He says, the elder is in here. Uh, <laughs> and he leads you guys to one of the bigger looking uh, houses in town. <laughs> um, and it's, it's got, got spike uh, shells on it. some... It's, it's like a Koopa shell. It's like Bowser. Shell. No. <laughs> as, as we're as we're walking, like the people all around, does it seem like they're militaristic people? Or is more kind of markety. Absolutely more. Uh, it it reminds you of like a working village, uh, of like people just uh, doing trades and crafts and and surviving with one another. Nice. Uh, yeah, you don't even see anyone. Uh, carrying weapons here, but uh, so our while we walk by with our weapons, do they do they seem like wary of travelers, or do they just sort of seem like ah uh, another traveler? Give me an insight check. Uh, Nat one, baby, what's up? That would be a passive, or not a passive? It would be nine, but yeah, you're not no, paying attention. Know. I'm just sort of like very focused on the fact that he's talking slow, but other people are talking slow, but walking fast. And I'm just like <laughs> very focused on that. Uh, he leads you guys upstairs um, and he knocks on the on the door, uh, which is decorated with uh, like debris from the ocean. You just see like a bit of driftwood and uh, what looks like some nails that are just like hanging off of uh, some seaweed he has wrapped uh, up on the door. And he says, I have some more visitors for you, Ribolita. And then uh, the door a opens. A frog person comes out. <laughs> that would be a good frog king name. Uh, no, but it is still a turtle. Uh, he's like an older, more uh, hunched older? Older than turtle. Yeah, older. But he moves still very quickly. So I, think, I think you mean <laughs> elder. He's, yes. Cause, uh, are you surprised that he's older as the elder of the town? Oh, no. you know what? I think she was correcting your grammar. No, but no. <laughs> well, yeah, was... when would you use elder versus older? No. Elder um, is as like an noun? adjective, right? <laughs> yeah. I... But also right. older is too. So but I don't like, know. You could say uh, he is elder too, which is an adjective, isn't it? Sure, which I but didn't. But I feel like elder is like, uh, elder is like a elderly. title also. Elderly. You're, you're not like, yeah. I will bring you to the village older. <laughs> like that would be that wouldn't make sense, right? Like, <laughs> right, which is why I didn't say that. <laughs> why so many exclamation points? Oh my god! <laughs> so many exclamation points. So mad. All right. Uh, Ribolita looks around at all of you and he says, "Oh, so many! Come he, in, he come so in! Fast. I will make soup." Really? <laughs> yeah. 
I'm very surprised by that. Wait, what kind of soup you make? Like, Asher's genuinely surprised by that because all he knows about turtles is turtle soup. Is soup. <laughs> like, so he's just like, what am I he's about terrified. to eat? terrified. What am I about to eat? <laughs> Classic. Classic soup of our people. What, what, what are the... Or <laughs> visitors. <laughs> <laughs> of our people. Classic soup. <laughs> <laughs> Gibetto looks around and he's like, oh, can't wait. Uh, he's a little oh nervous. God, <laughs> if it's green, I'm going to fucking he, lose my he, mind. He turns and, and moves into the building. Uh, he's He moves quicker uh, than Thelen does, but uh, not much. Uh, he gets inside and my, this has been a busy year. Um, and he's grabbing some things out of his uh, cupboards and uh, he begins to uh, fill the, the large cast iron pot he has over the fire. Oh, really? Have you have you had a lot of visitors this year? or? Oh, way, way more visitors than we usually have. I, I'm not normally the one to do this, but like... Hey, I'm Asher. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. I am Ribolita. I am the elder here. The, the, oh, and I'm uh, Gibetto Funkin' once you stumble knuckle timber shivers uh, at your service. And he takes his hat off and he does uh, a bigger bow than Jacques did at the boat. And then uh, Jacques says, I am Jacques Slysong, no? And he does a very <laughs> deep bow, bigger than And then than Asher immediately says, ah! yes, after Jacques says no, as he always does. <laughs> 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 I like that bit. <laughs> it's frustrating. The... Uh, <laughs> and then I'm Kath. Nice to meet you. The... Uh, nice I'm to Genevera. meet you. Nice to meet you <laughs> all. He's becoming <laughs> a little bit. So, uh, I was anyway. doing something. Yeah, sorry. Oh, about the soup. <laughs> soup. Oh, the soup. soup. Uh, yes. Oh, your... He turns back to the soup uh, and starts adding uh, some more components to it, mixing it what's up. What's this? Uh, I, you know, I have some food allergies. I just want to know what's in the soup. Mm. Oh, 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 old turtle secrets. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I think I think it's. <laughs> oh Do you need tiny shells Wait. in there? Uh, Josh, Josh is gone. Yeah, I'm sure his computer's just having problems. He'll be back. It's fine. That made you? No, that made him leave the show. <laughs> 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 He's gone forever, I've, and it's your fault, I'm not Anthony. Eating these nice people. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Fuck this. That joke was too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. That was really. You look Erdrad. Peace. I'm gonna go hang out with the Shadow Lord. Oh. So, what brings you, fine folk, who seem so? Adventurous to our quiet little land. Well, um, we actually were just hoping to uh, resupply our ship. Um, we have uh, encountered some trouble um, on the seas and had to uh, make an emergency stop. Um, basically, we uh, we need to gather some, some food and, you know... Um, would like to do some trading for, uh, you know, miscellaneous kind of uh, medicine and uh, things like that, um, just to kind of get us the rest of the way to our destination. Um, and we we saw on the map that this was a good uh, trading post, and so um, we figured we'd swing by. He looks at you for a second. Seas are dangerous. That's mm. why we don't usually leave. Yeah. Um, it can be tough out there, you know. So um, boring. We're lucky. We've been, we've been a lot of places and uh, so far managed to be okay. 
what brings you out so far this way? Well, um, we've never been kind of outside of New Merida, uh, no. <laughs> New Merida before. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Yes, I. Th- how many? Hmm, yes. He reaches up for something else in the cupboard. Pulls it down. He's shaking flakes of it into the stew what pot. Is so, what is that? yeah, we were hoping to kind of s- explore a little bit. We heard there was this great whirlpool out out there. Is, is that is that is that true? Oh yes. If you go there, it is doom you will find. Huh? huh. What do you mean by that? <laughs> You, the place you speak of, some have traveled there, but no one ever returns. The seas are dangerous, and if you go in through there, you will certainly die. That that sounds, that sounds awful. Uh, Has anyone come close and kind of witnessed anything weird around there and then come back to tell the tale? Mm. We have been near, but it is a dangerous place you can be sucked in by accident. And then you will never escape its pull. Ooh. Well, that doesn't Jeez. make me feel great um, about the, the crew. Yeah, so about that trading, mm. um, how do, you know, uh, do y'all take gold? Um, you know, how do you want to, is there someone in town that you should put us in, in contact with to, to, to maybe make that happen? Um Yes, if you have a vessel for trading with, we can make that connection. Wait, you only accept vessels in trade? Or like, what do you... Sorry. I'm sorry. We are used to dealing with people who wish to trade a great many things. And need oh, vessels to transport such things. If you just need provisions for yourself, that is oh, no. easily yeah. doable. No, no, we've got a we've got yeah. a whole crew um, kind of back on the boat. Uh, we just we took this, uh, you know, our little rowboat uh, to come on over and like meet the people and figure out how this is all going to work and everything. We accept all major forms of currency. <laughs> okay. Great. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, um, I guess after after soup, we'll just uh, go go back to the boat and get our get our folks and bring them on over. After soup. Can't wait for soup. Yep. Um, he uh, turns back to the soup and he starts mixing it again. He says, "So many, mm. so, so many. many, so many." What? Keth looks. Keth looks in the soup. Uh, yeah, so you see a big clump of seaweed uh, floating in the center of the soup, um, and the rest of the, the liquid looks to be like a yellowy broth. Okay. Mmm, looks delicious. So many of you at once. Oh, by you being here, we've had more visitors this year than maybe my whole life. Yeah. And how long is that? Hmm? Oh, I'm the oldest you'll find in this area. 35 years ago, I was born. (laughs) Gibetto taps Asher, like, as he says, uh, I'm the oldest. And then he, like, grabs his chest as soon as he (laughs) says 35. Wait. (laughs) How... Oh! Oh! Yeah. Um, wow! Okay. Wow. Um, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm pushing the limits here at thirty-five. I'm sure 
You spry young things are in your eighth or ninth year, he but know that I'm like literally thousands of years old. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Nobody guess. I guess. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Good job. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, what do you What do you attribute your uh, success to? I bet, I bet you speak a lot of languages too. Is that this soup? <laughs> Huh. He turns back to the soup. <laughs> I, that wasn't <laughs> like an, I don't understand. <laughs> like an evil witch. Um. So you got you had a lot of visitors. Can you tell us about these visitors? Hmm. Oh, we don't get a lot of visitors. Wait, you said you had a lot recently. What? Yeah. Yes. Right now there are six of you. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> and earlier we had one. That's more than we've Who? ever had. The seven of you. <laughs> who is, a who yeah. is your, who is your visitor earlier? Hmm. She was a very strange person. This one had a, a, a beak like a bird, and long golden hair. Do you remember her name? Of course not. She wouldn't tell me her name, which I thought was rude, but I Sounds gave her rude. soup anyway. <gasps> yeah, that does not feel Doesn't kind. feel like a fair trade. Sometimes with our travelers, it's best just not to know their names. You've only had six travelers. Yes. <laughs> Seven. Oh. I only know your names. <laughs> oh. Wait, can you describe, was she a bird-like, or was it, like, a bird mask? Oh, she took it off to eat soup. Then what did she look like? Was it long blonde hair, right? Long was blonde she hair. Oh. Yes, I think that's what your people call the... the the pointy ears, right? That's not. Wait, what? What was the question? She Asher? had a bird mask, and then she had. Well, she took her bird mask off and had long blonde hair and was elven. Can you let? A, when was this visitor? Oh, she came for a few months to study our religion. She was there for a few months and never told you her name. I, How I didn't long ago ask. was this? She left probably a few days ago now. Huh. Um. Did she say where she was going? Oh, she had many ideas. Off to learn more, she said. Probably to one of the other islands. He narrows his eyes. <laughs> What's wrong with the other islands? Put her on the other islands. Mm. Yeah, that feels that feels like a, a give me of a next question with that uh, reaction there. Oh, the other islands are more of our kin, but they're different from us. How so? <laughs> like <laughs> just one of them's like box live. turtles, and the other one is like <laughs> <laughs> snapping turtles. They just. Live on those other islands and do their own thing. They're lazy, but they're also too busy. Yeah, this is lazy and busy. Yeah, they're always trying to get it what isn't theirs, but they're also just too running around too like much. A, no, <laughs> this is a baby boomer turtle. Like, what's going on? He's just, just, he, just he doesn't, a regular yeah, just, old xenophobe. It he doesn't like, like his other the, his other fair. turtles. Yeah, you'll you don't even bother going over there. I've got all the soup you need. Which I still you still have never answered if it has any of my food allergies. What are you allergic to? <laughs> fucking I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's got no it? fucking in it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Got him. <laughs> and Jibeto puts a hand up. Listen, it's a bit of dry spell, okay? 
<laughs> Not appropriate. I just wanted to know what was in the soup. Nerd. I'm sorry. I just thought you would tell me. And then my friends just decided to talk about my <laughs> lack of sex life. So <laughs> I've got some fruits and some vegetables. In the soup? Yes, and some seaweed. Okay. Oh, it's a vegetarian soup. Yeah, we don't eat meat. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, nice. We catch fish for trade, but we don't eat them. We would use... We would like... Huh. Oh, okay. Okay. K- Keth will eat that soup. Yeah, Azure will now eat that soup. <laughs> He's He ladles out uh, six bowls of soup. He says... It's not my best work, but I'm it's sure close. It's delicious. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> He's gotten older as we've had this conversation. <laughs> he just yeah, he, yeah. It's like minutes are going by, man. He's, <laughs> this right. is he like a world, world record. <laughs> he was on like the tail end of what Alan was on. Like he was fine first, and then he just like twelve o'clock happened, and he became Thalen. <laughs> Kath eats the soup. Asher does as well. Uh, it is very salty, uh, but it has notes of some sweetness Ooh. to it, like a pineapple. Um, and it's mm, quite tasty. Pineapple. Mm. This is quite tasty. Yeah. Uh, Rob, what else do you uh, detect I in detect, this soup? Um, <laughs> any no rubber? rubber? There's any no rubber in here. <laughs> I'm definitely getting some, Well, I don't like, trust you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gibetto pulls a piece of boot out of his, and he just like, sets I'm it to the side. I'm getting at Asher. I'm... I'm getting totally. like a weird like uh like brown fruit, like a raisin or a fig. Mm, I don't have any raisins but, in here. But there are some grapes I left to dry I threw I in. <laughs> high five Asher. <laughs> Asher high But five they back. were green grapes. Well that's fine. They can still be like brown in flavor. Yeah. Is that- yeah, take that. Yeah. What the universe? I, I said that true. sentence, and that's correct. It's a correct sentence. Yeah. All right. It's a cool sentence. White right? grapes get kind of cool. more brownie. <laughs> yeah, less cool. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. No brownies no, in not. here. That's not what I was saying. <laughs> I feel like I just... No baked goods of any kind in this soup. <laughs> do you guys bake goods? Do you have baked? Do you have flour on this island? Not flowers, flour mm. with a U. I learned that word. Yes, recently. we've traded for flour. Mm. Turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread. Well, we don't put turtles no, in but, our bread. We don't eat no, meat. I told bread. you, it's turtles bread, <laughs> like with the apostrophe yes. and the s. That's how I know it. It's possessive. I'm learning. Looks at Genevera. That's pretty advanced, actually. Looking at, <laughs> he doesn't know letters, but he gets he gets like conjugation like nobody. That's not really conjugation. That's fine. Uh- <laughs> that was just unrelated. It was an unrelated sentence. Genevera has left the call. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, after you finish your soup, you can head to the dock and. Send word to your compatriots. Keth. Great. Stop okay. yawning, Keth. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. Is Ripple there leader. anything else I can do for you? If we... That's more of the soup. Um, yeah. No, thank you so much. He laid us out more soup for you. Thanks. Yeah. If you could... um. Introduce us to the religious leader that the uh, the previous visitor had spoken with. Um, that would be really nice. I can do that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks. What would you like to say to them? What is it? You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that classic total humor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you spent a bunch of time talking to this person Never knew their name. Uh, about the like months, the heart of your religion, mm-hmm. and you never asked their name. What was she didn't want to tell what? me? I didn't want to pry. What was she specifically talking about? Like, what was she asking you questions about? Oh, about the gods. 
and the way that we worship them. Go on, yeah. Go on. I've heard a tale or two about the way that the gods are worshipped on the mainland. And it seems like things are very different for you than they are for us. What do you mean? How so? We have been, our people have been worshipping the gods for a long time. And we worship them in a way more primal, it seems, than the way that your people worship them. What is, what do you mean by that? I mean, like, for you, you have seen uh, the slumbering god as one who reflects your kind. But the slumbering god, to us, is a beacon of magic. The slumbering god brought magic and reined it in, harnessed it here, and was its keeper. But... Until? Until he slumbered. Until he was put to sleep. To okay. stop from spreading darkness. You see the god of life as one of light, which has always seemed strange, as most of the travelers I have spoken with do not walk solely in the light, but they are filled with life. We all are filled with life, and so the life god preserves us. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. Hmm. The god of stories has told many tales that have passed down from our generations. The stories preserved by the god of stories help teach the way for new turtles. Oh. Sure. Um, I guess I just don't understand how that's so different from the, from like, Us. yeah, the way everybody else does it. You have twisted their original intents in ways, it seems. Uh, and the, the ways that we have, we worship the slumbering one have, were of particular interest to the other visitor. The do these gods have the same names? So I'm not a follower of this pantheon, but I do know the name Iora. Is it the same hmm. name, and is it a god of light for you, or is it a god of uh, I, don't, I don't, I'm just gonna throw this out there at blood? Iora is not a god of light or of blood. Maybe both, but a god of life. Hmm. And the slumbering god? It's just a Herix? god of magic to mm. you? Yes, the god of magic. Uh, magic that was primal and and powerful, and he harnessed it, reined it in. But he is not like the other gods. No one worships Herix in that, uh, in the same way that we worship the others. It, this, this traveler, did they ask about the vortex at all? Nope. Only you've been so reckless as to seek out that vortex. Yeah, that usually is how it goes. Um, well, I really appreciate all the soup and all the information. Soup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah, we'll go get the... Uh, Jacques, what do you think? Should we just uh, go get the boat? He nods. Great.
Thank you so much, Ribola- Ribolita. You're Thanks. welcome. Great to meet goodbye. you. Goodbye. He, he, he goodbye. He says goodbye like Gilligan. Um, so once, yeah, yeah, once we get back to uh, back to the rowboat, uh-huh. um, and well, we're kind of alone. What you, uh, on your way back to the docks. <laughs> Is there any? Are you? What are you? What are you? What are you shooting for here? And then maybe uh, I'll have to step you back. To, time alone to talk. Okay. Yeah. You. You are. There are turtles moving about, but you could have a quiet conversation that would not be overheard. You don't think? All right, guys. Um, There's only one person with a bird mask and blonde hair and elven descendant descent. She's yeah, dead. but her yeah, but planet she's, blew up. Yeah, she's super dead. Or, uh, in multiple realities, right? Yeah. Why would she be here asking? Like who or who is impersonating her? Asking. Why would they be impersonating? And I don't think we can find anything out more from here. I can. Um, no, it seems like he's gonna know everything that. So. There's also, so here's the thing. When we met with, and he says it really quietly, Gorm, from this reality, that Gorm felt a connection to the Gorm from the other reality. Well, and then he shakes the pendant of necromancy. It's like, we got, if it's, if this is a, that person, then we have part of that person in here. And maybe we can try and talk with them. Maybe they have a connection. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I That's just... A, it's a shot in the dark, but it's a shot. Yeah. For more information. I think I, w- yeah, I would like to learn more about this person. Maybe maybe Thalon knows where she went. Maybe. Like the turtle, uh, the doc turtle? Doc turtle. Turtle. Do- turtle. Doc turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can yeah. ask... Would you all want to go there? Yeah. I mean, we should get some supplies um, along the way. Sounds like we're not going to actually get there without something crazy happening. <laughs> yeah, I just got this cool. weird vibe I, that I we can't just that. get in a boat and leave. I don't know yeah. why. I have a good feeling about this island. Okay. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. They seem real. Okay. I have a feeling that this island either, like, sucks compared to another island that the we could have gone to. <laughs> um, or, like... I don't know. It's just something about it is real unsettling and weird. Yeah. And I mean, maybe it's just that they talk slow. It's real weird. <laughs> I agree. I, I feel. I feel. I feel calm here. I think that it's just nice for all of us to slow down every once in a while. Gillick, how are you feeling? Really good soup. <laughs> <laughs> think, you think seaweed and yellow? Yeah. That's yeah, really good. And those weird, those weird raisin notes, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, they were, it was unexpected, um, delicious. I'm a little. <clears throat> I mean, they don't like the other islands. That's okay, I guess. Um, we have a mysterious blonde lady. It's a potential of who she might be, maybe, probably not. But you know, you never know with all the crazy universe stuff. Um, well, I mean, are we getting stuff back to? The ship. Are we getting supplies to the ship? Yeah. That's that's problem number one. Yes. We're, all right, that's solved. We're good. We're good with that. The crew's getting supplies. We're getting food, you know, and whatever else they got. Hopefully more of the soup. <laughs> yeah, I think getting some of the, the crewmen here to just kind of handle the nitty-gritty of supplies might be good. As you reach the docks, you look out onto the ocean uh, and instead of just seeing Horton's boat uh, waiting patiently, you see two boats. Uh, one with uh, large black sails is moving very quickly toward the uh, Tortles Island, uh, and Horton's boat is sailing away. Oh, right. no. Uh, uh. Guess shoots a chromatic cold. <laughs> 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 Maybe he'll see it and come back. Okay, you fire it off into the air. Uh, you don't see the boat change course as it uh, continues to sail west. Oh, no. Oh, boy. 
What's on the sails? Uh, Gibetto looks. Yeah, Gibetto looks over at Jacques too. Jacques looks uh, more mortif- like horrified, uh, and he's like, "Oh, does anyone have a um, does anyone have a way to us uh, see what is on the sails?" I can try and fly by and see. You have, you can have, uh, what, the uh, eyes of I eagle, mean, I no? I turn into an eagle. Gibetto squints. Can you tell? <clears throat> uh, give me a perception check. An yes. active perception check. Uh, 14. Uh, not quite. Cass <laughs> leans forward off the dock. <laughs> uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You uh, you lean forward. Uh, you almost lose your balance, but you feel pretty in, pretty secure. Uh, give me a perception check. Nice. Twelve. Nope. You can't see it either. <laughs> Stupid nearsightedness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, do you want me to go scout, y'all? Yeah. All right. And then Asher jumps off the dock I mean, and turns into a seagull. Cool. And flies over. Okay. Uh, you fly over toward the boat. As you get closer, you see a sigil on the sails that you do recognize, one of the King of Thieves of Emberfall. And as you pass over the boat, you see uh, at least a dozen soldiers in uh, blue metal uh, armor. Okay. So, m- Mage Main well, Armor. Okay, shit. sure. Metal, though. <laughs> Oh, I want. How does that work? Not how you hope. Anything else? Who is at like the helm? Do I see anything? Anyone specifically at the helm that I know? Like, not. Do I see the King of Thieves? Uh, no, okay. not at the helm. Do I see him on the boat at all? Um, can no. I make like a flyby by like the ports too to see like how many uh, if they have cannons and stuff like that? Yes. Uh, give me a okay, investigation check. I'm doing it. Uh, 13 plus... Zero. 13. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as you fly by the ports, you do see there are more people moving around down below. Uh, you do see some cannons, but it's hard to get a good count as you some are like fly by. And some aren't like put out. Okay. Sure. Correct. Correct. Uh, you know, you know that there's at least three cannons sure. on each side. Three cannon holes, but you don't um, know. yeah, okay. Right, uh, and you do a flyby at the back, and you do see the King of Thieves in bitch. the boat. He is there. Okay. Um, I fly back as quickly as I possibly can. Um, okay. As when you arrive, the rest of them can now see the sigil King on the King of sails. Thieves. He's definitely in there. Three cannons on each side, um, a bunch of people on the front, uh, and obviously he's coming right towards us. So, um... Genevera casts a fireball at the most wooden part of the boat. <laughs> the boat part. The most wooden and, uh... Oh, we're... Able to sink the oh, boat we're just doing this right now? Boat. Okay, cool. Uh... Okay, yeah, so as soon as it's within range, Shinavera, you fire off a fireball, um, and it slams into the boat, uh, and spreads over, ex- explodes out, and yeah, the boat begins to um, burn. I would like to... But it also doesn't seem to I, be slowing in down. In front, in 120... F- how close is it? So uh, what's your range on fireball? within 150 feet. Jeez, that's 150 feet away? Um, yeah. Can yep. I cast Maelstrom, a swirling mass of five? Well, that's not really going to do what I want. Five foot deep water. <laughs> you get that, uh, five feet of water. <laughs> that's, you get that freezing the ground around you spell that Clyde used. Me? Or her? Ice oh, Sleet Storm? Storm or something? I don't have it prepped. Because uh, I don't oh. often <laughs> find myself in this situation. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, just thought uh, freezing the water might I could fuck also, up the boat too. So th- as you're while you're trying to figure it out, the boat is still charging forward, uh, flaming. It's now a hundred feet away, and it does not All seem right. to well, be. All right. Well, I slowing. haven't done this one yet. Nice. Um, Asher cracks his neck, and he cast insect plague. 
<laughs> just like insects just shoot out of his fingers and just sh- move 300 feet towards the boat. A swarming, biting locust of 200. Uh, 20 foot radius sphere so it's not big but it's going to move around the boat um, anyone has to make a con save throw and take or take 4d10 piercing damage on a failed save and half on a successful one Increase if they enter blah 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 but basically I'm just making a swarm of locusts that to just like harass them okay so go ahead and roll damage Hell on that yeah. um, and then I'll determine how that is going to work out Uh, 26 damage. A piercing. Does anyone on Tortal Island look like uh, they might be at all tough? They probably don't. <laughs> uh, they, there are probably some people who are uh, uh, like decent at spearing fish. Might be Nobody decent with a spear. Like magically powerful at all? No. I... Jibeto can't do anything for now. Uh, um, Jennifer, did you want to hit him, hit that boat with another one of those? Sure do. I basically would just like to keep throwing fireballs. Uh, how much damage um, was that? Twenty six. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, Jennifer, you fire off another fireball. Um, it slams into the boat again. Uh, the boat is still coming forward. It does look like you're having, like, like the boat is badly damaged as it's coming forward. Um, and uh, the fire is spreading. You fire off another one. It's 20 feet away, and it is heading um, directly for the I'm still concentrating on the insect plague, so it's a 10-minute con. So it's just, like, fucking trying to wreak havoc on the boat. Yep. Um... Uh, it's 20 feet away, you said? From the dock, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Gibetto's going to run to the end of the dock, I guess. Um, and as soon as like anything, like a rope or anything comes down or like a ladder comes out or whatever, uh, he's going to be ready to try and like um, subvert that, depending on what it is. Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is a 28. Okay. Uh, the boat does not stop. It is still going full speed. And as it reaches the dock and smashes into it, uh, and you are thrown backwards uh, from the force of this boat like crashing into this, uh, you are scrambling for anything, uh, and you twist and turn in such a way that you smash through the window of one of the floating house <laughs> buildings that was next to the dock uh, and tumble onto the ground uh, as the boat continue to charges, charge through and slams, like, destroys the dock and slams into the side of the, uh, the island and people begin to pour out. <laughs> Hey adventurers, DM Anthony here again. I just want to remind you that there are lots of ways to support the show. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Links and more can be found at adventureinc.podbean.com. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next week.